What's up, music fans of the internet? I am Kevin. I'm Derek. And together we are last week's album, Talking About Good Music. Uh, before we kick things off, we'll start like we always do, drinking a beer. Cheers, Derek. Cheers, Kevin. Cheers, listeners at home. Yes, of course. Cheers, everyone at home. Mine's fizzing over. Got it. Um, all right. This week we are talking about an album called Will the Woman by a group called Lucius. At least we think that's how it's pronounced. And this is sort of continuing our latest entry into a lot of girl groups. I believe this makes our third in a week. So we're digging the sounds of the ladies these days. Um, a little bit of background on Lucius. They are a Brooklyn-based five-piece um, at the helm. Two female vocalists, uh, Jess Wolf and Holly Lasig. They were both voice majors at Berklee College of Music, so they probably know what they're doing. Um, backed by Dan Malad on drums, Peter Lalish on guitar, and Andrew Burry on guitar. And this LP comes up following uh, their highly acclaimed EP, which came out last year in 2012. So... Without further ado, let's get into what this thing sounds like. Derek, what do you think? Ken, I think Wilder Woman sounds like Brooklyn's successful response to Iceland's of Monsters and Men. I would have said Reykjavik's of Monsters and Men, but I couldn't type it in my notes because I don't know how to spell Reykjavik. I don't even know how to say Reykjavik, so good call, Derek. Um, I think Wilder Woman sounds like electro-folk pop revivalists with a uniquely modern take on 60s girl group sounds. Um, that brings us to key tracks. Derek, what do you have? Kevin, my key tracks are Go Home and Hey Doreen. Nice, nice. Uh, for my key tracks, I have album opener Wilda Woman and album closer How Loud Your Heart Gets. So uh, I guess I'll start us off with Wilda Woman. Um, it opens the album, as I mentioned. It's got this clip-clop beat, jangly acoustic guitars, gentle yet powerful female vocals, um, folk lyrics describing this sort of mystic, ideal, almost imaginary uh, feminine female character. Feminine female character. Um, building, uh, building up into this echoing, atmospheric jam, and I thought musically it really shows how the band can riff on a simple motif um, almost a mesmerizing effect, keeping it going, and little interesting nuances. Um, so that's why I dug Wilda Woman. Derek, what's your first key track? Kevin, my first key track is also the first single, I believe, Go Home. Uh, this one, as you mentioned, alluded to earlier, does kind of follow a, a same motif throughout, although this time much more minimal by comparison a percussive acoustic guitar riff, if you will, where the bass strum, uh, bass strums they kind of do on top of chords uh, really moves the ba uh, beat along. There's kind of a, a lonely, wailing t electric guitar riff and just very strong layered vocals uh, start off very soft and sultry and just build to a very strong uh, wall of uh, sound, if you will, there in the chorus. Uh, it builds on itself, all, uh, although never straying with that, with, you know, outside the bounds of its uh, sparse uh, type uh, build, if you will. Just uh, they really find their sweet spot in this sound, I found, and uh, great music video as well. I have not seen the music video, but I really dug that, that song, especially that slide guitar is fucking killer. Um, so great pick, Derek. My next key track, however, is uh, the album Closer, How Loud Your Heart Gets. And it is this sort of drive-ish number. It would not sound out of place on the soundtrack to the movie Drive. Um, it's got this pensive electric guitar, spacey synth, rackety percussion, sludgy guitars, and everywhere from whispered all the way to wailing vocals. Um, it starts slow and really builds very, very nicely. And this, my friends, is how you close an album. Every time I listen to this album, I can't wait till it gets to this song that's that good. Um, so yeah, Derek, what was your other key track? 
Uh, my next one is Hey Doreen, which, uh, as Kevin described, this one is also one of the driving type song, which kind of ironically enough follows right after my previous keep track, Go Home, which is the complete opposite of a drive type song, as we were describing earlier. Uh, however, that being said, although it's completely different, it didn't sound out of place following Go Home. Uh, there, it, it starts off in this kind of verse sound, which it... There's a thumping bass beat, steady bass, snare, drums, kind of a haunting staccato organ riff, uh, and it moves into a chorus that keeps a lot of the same beat uh, and percussion type stuff, but uh, a much brighter synths and uh, another synth hook, just very catchy vocal melodies here. It's just a very bright, uh, upbeat song. Uh, one of the driving ones just really grabbed my attention. Yeah, I think that's a really good point, Derek. Um, as we were talking about earlier, before we even started recording tonight, um, they sort of have these two very interesting, very different wheelhouses of very upbeat pop and very downtrodden folk. Um, and as you said, they do them both very, very well without you even thinking it's a different group or really flinching at the change in sound. So, very nice. Lucius. Um, all right, best lyric. Derek, what have you? Uh, my best lyric comes from Go Home, Beaded Gazes, Lead You Nowhere Anyways. Just uh, soft and understated, but says a lot at the same time in few words. Uh, and if I remember correctly, delivered with strong vocal delivery. Oh yeah, definitely strong vocal delivery on Go Home. Uh, my best lyric, however, is from Two of Us on the Run which uh, the line goes, there's no race, there's only a runner. Just keep one foot in front of the other. And I really liked that sentiment of there's no race, there's only a runner. As you mentioned, Derek, they're good at <clears throat> packing a lot of lyrical punch into very short, concise lyrics. So, yeah. Um, all right, overall rating. I'm making you go first, Derek. Ah, uh, Kevin, I was kind of undecided on this all day. But you know what? I'm going to go big. I'm going to give this a five. This is a fantastic debut album. Uh, I thought it was very, uh, just a lot to take on. It, it, there's kind of a storyline to it following this character uh, that Kevin was kind of describing earlier. Uh, they, covered, they, they stuck to their two sounds, but they did it very well and tried to blend the two together, which can often be very difficult if not seeming like an oxymoron type thing, you know, folk indie, pop, rock, I don't know. Uh, but overall, I really enjoyed it. Thought it was a fantastic debut. Looking forward uh, to hearing more from Lucius. All right. We agree this week, Derek. I'm going big, too. Five out of five. This one really blew me away, um, and it kind of came out of nowhere. But um, they're really great at disguising these deep, dark lyrics with really beautiful sounds. Um, there's something for everyone, as we mentioned. There's these rockin', upbeat bangers, soft acoustics, and overall, this sort of retro charm, um, along with a modern aesthetic, sort of tying it up on this nice little bow. It's technically and lyrically profound, um, often making the complex very simple. And um, surprisingly, I actually dug the slower tracks a little bit more on this album, which is very rare for me, at least lately. Um, and I think that speaks volumes for the band to keep you listening on uh, some of the slower, more somber tracks. So... Best debut of the year? I don't know. I'm saying maybe. I know everyone's all in a tiff about Haim right now, but for me, uh, Lucius is what I wish Haim were. Um, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. I don't want to start an internet war. Um, all right, guys, there you have it. Wilder Woman by Lucius getting five out of five from both Derek and myself. No easy feat. Um, and there you have it. Uh, we are last week's album, Talking About Good Music. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I am Kevin. I'm Derek. And we will see you next week with another album review. Later, guys.